colors that I used for this were uh, quinacridone crimson, and I only have it in the fluid. So I take one of these clear, you know, these are off of yogurt. I save all my lids from, I throw the, the container away and I save my lids. So I used that and I used a chromium oxide green. And I think that green was way too bright. And you have to put enough on that you're going to have uh, enough to make your palette with. It was a little too bright, so I added just some neutral gray to it. Because the color of the, the green that I have here, this is way too bright for it. So I just mix those guys up. So you want to start with the two colors that, you know, your complementary colors and red and green are complements right off the bat. But they don't have to be complements. It just could be two colors that you want to use and you want to see how those, how many colors you can make from those two because, I mean, this is the way to go, really. Um, you don't have to spend a ton of money on paint and you get to make paint the way you want it. So I'm going to take my brush. And, and what I do with this to make it go faster is I'm going to use, for my white, I'm actually using a house paint. Not mixed up very well, but it's a house paint. Cream is going to be my white, and then I'll have a little bit of black right here for when I do the black part. Because as you're going, you can literally mix these things up all at once. So let's say I'm doing my green here. I can just take the white. I got it on my brush already, and this is how it can go really fast. I put a, I put a white all the way up, whatever my white's going to be. Then I take that green that's on my brush and mix it in here. Then I take that color I mix it here. Wow. And then I take that color and I go here. So I've already got all those colors and there it is. Now if you need to add a little bit more, because I my eyeball tells me that needs to be lighter. You can kind of adjust it as you go. And they don't have to be really neat and tidy. Um, this one could use a little bit more of the green. So we got that one. Now let's do the same thing. Clean off my brush. You want to make sure to clean off your brush so that you can, you know, have a clean color. So there's the the uh, chromium. What did I say it was? The quinacridone crimson. White, white, white. I know, it goes really fast. Yeah, oh wow. I was like cleaning my brush. I know, I know. Yeah, I've always done it that way too. That's the pain of the So there you go. And you could also move down. Okay, now the black is very scary. Because black <laughs> can wreck your color so fast. So I just take a dot of it. Especially that first one. You don't want this one to be too black. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, I guess I want to take a lot of that. See, that's, oh, well, maybe not. That's not so bad. That's a little darker. And, and what will happen, most of these colors that are at the bottom are going to look black. And you're going to say, wait, they all look the same. But they don't look the same. They will all be a different version of black. And um, when you paint, where is that little stick? When you're painting, it's always better if you can mix your own black. Because it makes a much prettier, oh, that's going to be way too much. Let me get some of that out of there. Um, it makes a, a richer black than just a dead black.
not enough. That one's just right. And that one's just even better. So what you end up with is a red black, a green black. Now, so those are my colors. So I've got those all mixed up. Now you want to take a glob of that color of your green and a glob of your red. I probably didn't. You know, you, you kind of have to play with this mix. Um, you want to end up with a neutral color. Not too green, not too red. Uh, when you mix those two complements, you should get a neutral color. So, and that's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm going to take part of that complement and add the green to it. Or part of that neutral color and add the green to it. I'm going to end up there. It probably could be a little browner. Or maybe not. I don't like to pull too much with it. And this is going to give me more the color of the greens that I have in here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then once again, I take that, new, that neutral center color and I'm just going to add red to it. And hopefully I have enough of it mixed. I probably don't. So I'm going to steal a little bit of that. Oh yeah, that's good. It's probably not a color I can use in here because I don't see my pinks are, are much more in this line. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do the blacks just cuz I don't want to torture you all. But look how fast that happened. And and it, once you when you do them a lot and you get down to where you find a quick way to do them like I, you know, figured out how to do it all at once. You know, I can whip these guys out really fast and then I've got that to refer to when